Your surgeon will perform hysteroscopy to view the inside of your uterus. Hysteroscopy can be used to diagnose or correct a problem in your uterus without needing to make an incision in your abdomen. The uterus is a hollow organ in your lower abdomen where a baby grows during pregnancy. Each month during a woman's childbearing years, the inner layer of her uterus, called the endometrium, builds up with extra blood and tissue to prepare for pregnancy. When pregnancy does not happen, the extra tissue sheds through the vagina during menstruation. A diagnostic hysteroscopy may be done to evaluate causes of abnormal uterine bleeding, investigate possible causes of infertility or repeated miscarriages, or detect benign or non-cancerous growths in your uterus, like fibroids, polyps, scarring, or malformations. An operative hysteroscopy may be done to remove benign growths from your uterus, obtain a tissue sample or biopsy from the lining of your uterus, locate an intrauterine device, or IUD, or place small devices in your fallopian tubes as a form of permanent birth control. Before your procedure, you may be given general, regional, or local anesthesia. Your doctor will begin by inserting a speculum to spread open the walls of your vagina. Your doctor will then pull the cervix toward the entry of the vagina. Next, your doctor will use instruments called dilators to open up your cervix. Your doctor will guide a hysteroscope, a thin device equipped with a camera and light, through your vagina and into your uterus. The camera transmits images of your uterus to a screen. Your doctor will inject gas or fluid to expand your uterus, making it easier to locate abnormal tissue in your uterus. In a diagnostic hysteroscopy, your doctor will use the hysteroscope to examine the inside of your uterus. In an operative hysteroscopy, your doctor will insert small tools through the hysteroscope to take a biopsy, remove a growth, such as a polyp, or treat other problems. After the procedure, your doctor may recommend medication for pain relief. You should be able to return to your normal activities within one to two days after your procedure. You may have mild cramping and some bloody discharge for several days.